Hello everyone, in today's video we will see how to power up the PMDG777 and before I get started please subscribe and share to support from Startup to Shutdown Video Productions. Let's begin. Now, to start this tutorial, I need first to set my aircraft panel state to cold and dark using my CDU. As you can see, the menu page comes as a default page when we load the aircraft. So we are in the right page to start navigating to the panel state. Now I select PMDG setup. Then here I got panel state load. I select it. And as you can see, on the top of uh, the panel states list, I got cold and dark option. Finally, I select it, then execute. Now I give it a few seconds to initialize the system. And here we go. As you can see, all the system is in cold and dark. Now, this is the state at which we normally start our first flight of the day. The very first place to start the power up procedure is the overhead panel starting with the battery goes on now before applying any ac power source to the aircraft system i need to check a few items for safety and protection purpose starting with the electrical primary hydraulic and demand pump switches are off moving down to the two wiper selectors are checked off gear lever position down alternate flaps selector off now i have completed the safety check all what i need at this stage is to decide whether i'm gonna use the apu or the external power source let's see first uh, the power up procedure using the external sources you can see here uh, the two external power switches indicators are dark this means that the aircraft is still not connected to the ground power units to request the connection, I need to use my FMS CDU through the menu page. Click and hold the menu key to bring the menu page to life. I select FS actions, then ground connections. Here you can see that the options are grayed out. To enable them, I need to set first the wheel chucks. And you can see now the connection options are available. Now here you can see for ground power type, we have two options, one plug and two plugs. When you select GPU one plug, you'll get a single GPU plug. I'll select ground two plugs. And you can see I got now dual jetway plugs available. Now I connect them and you can see the two green available lights illuminate primary external power goes on and the secondary on nav light on adru on emergency lights armed window heat all on cabin utility and in-flight entertainment on now the power system will go through a self check and diagnostic process and this can take some time if you wish to make this process faster, you can go to the CDU menu page, PMDG setup, options, simulation, step through the pages and look for display units power up. Here it is. Change it from realistic to fast. Done. Now, after connecting the external power, I go to display select panel. I select electrical. To bring the electrical synaptic on the lower display unit and check that the electrical system is configured as expected now my electrical power is set at this stage if the air conditioning is needed i have to connect the ground air conditioning to the system but on the air conditioning panel first i check that the packs and recirculation fans are off and they are now i go to my cdu on the same ground connections page i used before i select air conditioning unit now this is generally 
the power up steps using the external sources now let's see uh, the other way we can use to power up the system using apu after turning on the battery and completing the before power safety check as i showed you already now first i check that the apu generator switch is on these arms the apu generator for automatic power connection to the electrical system when apu power is available now i turn the apu start selector to start the starter springs back to on and this will initiate the apu start process and you can see uh, we have no indications available to monitor the apu start progress all the displays are still dark and this is normal when the APU start cycle is completed, the displays comes to life as you can see now. And the system starts the self-check as we saw earlier with the external power. Now again I go to display select panel and select electrical to bring the electrical synaptic to view and check that the electrical system is configured properly. After establishing the electrical power, I follow the same procedure as I did earlier with the external power. Nav light on, ADRU on, emergency lights armed, window heat on, cabin utility and IFE switches on. Finally, I check on the air synaptic display that the air conditioning is established. As you can see, all set. Now, in the next tutorial, I will discuss in detail the FMC preflight. If you are interested to continue to learn more on the PMDG 777, make sure to activate the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Thank you for your support and see you there.